it wasn't always so uh, bright and shiny in your life. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, some of your teenage years was spent incarcerated. How do you go from renting snow forts to incarceration? Yeah, I mean, the, the snow fort days was when I was six, seven, eight years old. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I, everybody's story is different. But for me, you know, I, um, I got diagnosed at a very young age of, of having ADHD. Uh, my mom was an alcoholic. I was the oldest boy of a family of four. I had a sister who was older than me and the other two younger brothers. Um, and, you know, I, I learned when I was 11 or 12 years old that if I wanted my dad's attention, who was never there because he was, he was working, he was, he was in sales, so he was traveling a lot, that, um, you know, throwing a fit and a, a temper tantrum actually got the job done. So um, it didn't take very long before uh, my parents just couldn't handle me at home. And uh, at the age of uh, 11, 12, I got put into uh, foster care. And, you know, nothing good comes of kind of being in the system from crisis centers to foster parents to eventually getting kicked out of there, going to uh, group homes. Um, you know, my peer, my peer group, when I went into the group home, I was 12, 13, they were 16, 17, um, and they weren't there for, for positive reasons. So, you know, I ended up hanging out with the wrong people, and that, that trend just continued on until, was, you know, I started doing drugs when I was 13, 14. And then, um, and then hung out with really bad people and into my early teens and, and went to jail when I was 15, 16, and then again when I was 17. Now, how do you go from being in jail at 17 to being a superstar success? It had to start, the journey had to start somewhere. So where did you start your entrepreneurial journey? Yeah, so um, after the second time, which I vowed the first time I wouldn't go back, so after the second time spending five months uh, in jail, I went to rehab, and I spent 11 months there, and it was is that time in rehab at a place called Portage um, that I discovered computers, and um, you know, I just bought a book on programming, and, and I would sit up and write applications, and when I, when I finally went back to high school, I was fortunate enough that in high school there was programming classes and technology classes, and I learned a bit more. So, you know, to me, I've always credited, you know, computers as saving my life because it was this other thing that I felt I could kind of be creative and invest my time into that was obviously positive and wasn't going to get me back in trouble.